Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk all about the new game Minecraft Legends and it's Bastion, the Horde of the Bastion. Now the Horde of the Bastion is a very, very tough one to defeat on your first run. And if this is your first run, I'm going to show you the best ways to take these guys down. So, the first thing you would want to do is probably stock up on resources. So, I suggest getting coal for creepers. I suggest getting a legendary mob, like next to Foresight. And I suggest getting the one that's behind me, the first of oak, because it shoots very big arrows and it's very, very useful. And then I also suggest getting the first of stone. Now the first of stone just does a lot of damage in general. It's pretty nice for defeating the boss. And then finally the first of brick will protect your mobs with a shield. And so I think those mobs are very good for the boss fight. Now what you'll need to destroy the portals is just creepers and you'll need just coal. So this the coal can help you spawn creepers. And so I'm going to show you a method later in this video how to destroy a portal really 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 fast. And like it'll go it'll just wipe itself out of existence. It's pretty overpowered. So I'm going to talk about the boss now. See the boss is a really really tough boss. I think this is one of the toughest ones besides the final boss. And this boss is pretty big. And it's a little bit smaller than one of the bosses, but it's bigger than one of the other bosses. So this boss is called the Unbreakable One. The Unbreakable One is very, very strong. He shoots this fire thing that will kill all of your range mobs really fast so that's why I don't suggest range mobs and I suggest tanky melee mobs like a zombie and so to go with the zombie you want mossy cobbles and golems to heal your zombie and so I also suggest getting a little more than 30 mobs I think around 30 mobs will do the trick to take this bastion down so, the last thing you will probably need is a good mount, like the beetle. I am not running it right now. <coughs> the beetle can climb walls, so I think the beetle is the best one for taking this bastion down. And so, let's get to it. Alright, so I'm going to spawn so a cobblestone golems. Now, cobblestone golems are your second best option for fighting a portal. And so, cobblestone golems break stuff really fast. And so, if you don't have creepers, this is your second best option. So, I'm going to spawn a bunch of cobblestone golems. So, then we're going to bring them over this way. They want to uh, cooperate. And so, we're going to bring them up to the walls. And when you bring them up to the walls, they're going to break the walls really fast. Well, actually, that's a gate, but you want to break the gates. And once you break the gates, the portal will be really fast. So this is a tier 1 portal, by the way. And this is the easiest one. So I broke down the first one, the first gate, and then we're going for the second gate. And so... It's breaking through it pretty fast, I'd say. And so, now that we've broken through, I'm going to send my guys on the portal. And then, and then we're just going to let them destroy the portal. And so that's really the strategy for a tier 1 portal like this. Just send the cobblestone golems on the portal and they'll melt it pretty fast for you. And so that is how you destroy the tier one portal.
just watch it melt. Alright, for the tier 2 Bastion, we're probably going to use Creepers for this. And if you still don't have Creepers, uh, I would suggest Cobblestone Golems again. And it's pretty much the same thing as the second Bastion. Now, the third Bastion is a little bit harder. The third Bastion, you're going to need to use a crazy strategy called the, one, the, the Creeper 1 Cycle. And so pretty much what you do is you break into the walls and then you have, you got to make sure all of your spots, your um, flames of creation spots are empty. And then you will go over to the portal, spawn a bunch of creepers, like 20 or 30 creepers, well, however big your max is, make sure you stop, stock up on coal. And then you blow up the comp the portal while it has not a lot of piglins around it because when there's a lot of piglins surrounding it the creepers tend to die and so it does a lot of damage to the portal and it gets a kickstarter to the portal and it probably will get the portal below 50 percent and you'll be on your way breaking that portal after that's done so i really suggest using the creeper one cycle it is really op to defeat this portal a tier 3 portal we're gonna do a spawn a few mossy golems we're gonna spawn a few mossy golems and some zombies so one two three should be good and then spawn a bunch of zombies and melee mobs these things, um, yeah, these things are useful. Fallen. And so as you can see, this guy's health is actually melting. And as you can see, this guy is dying pretty quickly. And so preparation is really important here. So this guy's health is kind of melting right now. And that is all you have to do. To and so there you guys go. We defeated the boss. And so that wasn't so hard, was it? Thank you guys so much for watching my first Minecraft Legends video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.